Yan. Metaplasia. It is, um, it is the change in cell type. Um, metaplasia is a reversible change in which one adult cell cell type is replaced by another cell type. In simple way, let's say oh, meron one cell type or square, square cell type, and um, that is square, square cell type undergo metaplasia. And then yung square cell na yon ay magiging circle cell type. In short, yung um, square cell type ay nagiging, ay nagiging circle cell type due to met metaplasia. That means um, metaplasia is about uh, converting a specific cell type to another cell type. Some examples um, why metaplasia occurs are due to re repeated and prolonged irritation. Next, nutritional disturbances. Next is endocrine disturbances. Met metaplasia occurs to its fully re reversible adaptive response to chronic persistent injury. Metaplasia can be um, physiolo physiologic and pathologic. Um, physiological metaplasia is a normal cell type of cell maturation, while pathological is a change due to abnormal stimulus. Um, for physiological metaplasia, a good example for this is um, the metaplasia of endocervix, which is a region in the vagina. And the metaplasia occurs during puberty. So, yung type ng change is from um, culum columnar epithelium into squamous epithelium. The region between the endocervix and exocervix is known as um, transformation zone. So, ang type ng physiological metaplasia na ito ay normal part yan ng aging. The endocervix is aligned into the columnar epithelium, while the exocervix is aligned to squamous epithelium. So, during puberty, yung transformant zone ay nag-move into different places, which exposes the endocervix to a harsher environment of the vagina which is more acidic. So the changes occur is, um, is the columnar epithelium will, will undergo metaplasia and turn into squamous epithelium. So um, yun yung isang um, good example ng physiological metaplasia. Para sa pathological metaplasia naman, yung isang good example doon is yung cessation of human smoking, which initially supposed to be ciliated columnar epithelium. So the harsh stimulus of smoking initiates the change to squamous epithelium. In summary, in metaplasia, um, the cell simply just changes its structure in response to being put to the abnormal um, stress ganun, or mga um, injurious stimul um, injurious, um, injury. Ganun. Um, the last thing that we will discuss is um, this dysplasia. So, what is dysplasia? Dysplasia is a cell that have an abnormal shape and function. Dysplasia um, came from the word dis or disordered lesion or to form is a term used to describe disorderly but non-neoplastic proliferation. Dysplasia is not an adaptive response but is considered here because it is closely related to hyperplasia and is sometimes called atypical hyperplasia. In both cervix and the respiratory tract, dysplasia is strongly Impl implicated as a precursor of cancer. How I, however, dysplasia does not necessarily progress to cancer. So dysplasia is um, the alter alteration of size, shape, and organizations of cells. And there is a low-grade to high-grade dysplasia. And the important thing of this is um, 
yung dysplasia is um, premalignant. Dysplasia is a term used to describe the presence of abnormal cells within a tissue or organ. Dysplasia is not a cancer. Yan, hindi siya cancer. But it may sometimes become cancer. Dysplasia can be mild, moderate, or severe depending on how abnormal the cells look under a microscope and how much of the tissue organ is affected. So yun nga, dysplasia is not an adaptive response but is considered, um, linagay namin dito kasi it is closely related to hyperplasia. This plastic change is important mainly in human pathology and is mostly encountered in the cervix and the respiratory tract of habitual cigarette smokers, katulad ng example kanina. So, in both cervix and the respiratory tract, nga, nasabi na kanina, dysplasia is strongly implicated as precursor of cancer. Yan. So, um, that is dysplasia. In summary, um, in summary, summary ng um, cell adaptation, um, if the cells are exposed to stresses, which then, which by then disturb the cell's normal state or um, homeostasis, this leads to cell adaptation. Adaptations can be um, physiologic or pathologic, as stated earlier, and meron siyang uh, four distinct adapt adapted responses, which um, kung na-expose na sila sa stress or any kind of stimulus. Ito yung um, hypertrophy, yun yung increase in cell size, hyperplasia, increase in cell number, atrophy, increase in cell size, and metaplasia, change in cell type. So yun, um, that's end our pre presentation for cell adaptation.